right shalom with some foremost and we give all praises on our glory to Yahweh by Shemi our Shai by Shemi Kakurat. We give double honors to the apostles of great mercy and do rule well. Salutations to the men, you know, out there, the hopefully elect that pushing this word, this truth in sincerity and in truth. All right, out here once again, this is Brother Makaza. We out here once again, you know, to, 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 to wake up the tribes of Israel. All right, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the ones that the Lord, all right, the one you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, all right, his name is Yahweh Shai, all right, and his father's name is Yahweh, means he exists, all right, yeah, that is the name, Yahweh. No, nah, not Yahweh. Yahweh is a, is, a, is a pagan god, all right, basically, it's a name just made up. You understand? And that is, the, that is the name of the god that coming back to reclaim the earth just now, so hope you remember that, all right. And that always happen with Jake. Alright, they want to make mockery and scoff at everything. Alright? But Yahweh, as I was saying, Yahweh is the name of the Most High. Means he exists. Yah is he. And Hawa means exist. He exists. He's the existing one. Yahweh was just a name made up by this guy um Wilhelm. I forget I forget what his name was Ganessa, something like that. Alright? But basically, he was a, a ancient, not ancient, I wouldn't say ancient, but I was just did that in the 1940s. All right? He was a so called Jew. All right? A so called Jew that studied the Hebrew, and basically, he was the one that suggested that the name of the Mosai be, you know, Yahweh. So that is where Yahweh came from. All right? Yahweh is just a made, just like Jesus, just a made up name. All right? Because you see that Jesus is the is the is the English way of saying um, Yahushua. That is what they say. But guess what? Jesus is not even an English word. All right. So that is the reason why the Lord sent us out here in these last days. All right, to teach, to teach His people the truth, so that they could understand the times that we in. And to turn back to him. Right? This is Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 4. It says, Who had ascended up into the heaven or descended? Who had gathered the wind in his fist? Who had bound the waters in his garment? And guess what? And another thing, you know, like all these scoffers and mockers out here, when they're scoffing and mocking at the men of the Lord. All right, and scoffing at the name of the Lord and the name of his son in, in, in the time of Jacob's trouble what the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahshai going to do the Lord going to put a remembrance in them all right the Lord going to put a remembrance in them so that they could remember that they were scoffing at that name and they're going to call upon that name in the time of trouble but it's it, it not going to profit them all right just like the the, the, the um priests in the book of Acts when they were trying to cast out the demon alright, that name not going to profit them, alright it says it says who had ascended up into heaven or descended who had gathered the wind in his fist, who had bounded the waters in a garment who had established all the ends of the earth, what is his name or what is his son's name if thou canst tell. And they don't know because they will tell a Yahweh, they will tell a Jesus. But that is not the name of the Lord. Alright? That is not the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is Yahweh and his, and his father's name. Uh, his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Alright? Says Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 20 says, Wisdom cried without. Alright? Wisdom cried without. Wisdom cried out in these streets. All right, you know, like when they say a woman for the streets. All right, all right, when they say a woman for the streets because they're always, you know, out on the streets. All right, they're always here and they're out on the street. But guess what? We for the streets, we out here prophesying in the streets. All right. 
Now the new thing is saying that you know that we we need to come off the streets. All right, but guess what? Let's say let's say they want to bring this argument that you know in the ancient times, in the ancient times, in the ancient times, right? That you know men would have had to go in the streets because they didn't have internet, they didn't have you know the Wi-Fi and all these things that people could have sat in the comfort of their homes, you know, and listen to the word. So now, you know, in these modern times, we had the, we had the internet, so we could, you know, stay at home and everybody could stay at home and hear the word in the comfort of their home. But guess what? How much of us learned this word or heard this word first off the internet? I didn't have the luxury of hearing this word for the first time off the internet. All right, I heard it in the streets, and a lot of brothers, especially here in Trinidad, they heard it off the streets. All right, so think about if we wasn't going out there on the streets to the spirit of the Lord and prophesying, how much brothers would have been woken up to this word? All right, yeah, the internet there to help push, but the Lord gave us an order, He gave us an order to go out there and present our body as a living sacrifice. All right, so that is why we out here. The scripture says. Wisdom cried without. Right? It says, Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. Alright? She uttered her voice in the streets, and that is why we out here. That is why we out here, because we out here for your sake. Alright? Paul said, I endure all things for the elect's sake. That is why Paul was always outside in the synagogues, out in the, um, I believe it. They call it the Agoge, all right? The Agoge, in you know, the chief place of concourse, all right? Just like we out here, in, in the byways and the hedges, all right? The Sodomite sea casting out fish. So, if you watch this, um, I think it's Pi, I think it's Pi, the name of the movie is Pi, and what happened with Pi, he was out on the ocean on a boat with a tiger all right now i didn't know i didn't watch the movie but you know from seeing clips on facebook in one of the clips it had an incident where flying fish all right flying fish was flying out the water and they had to catch the flying fish so that they could eat well guess what we are pie and the tiger all right and this boat this ship is the ministry and the, the elect that's still out there in the world they are the flying fish flying out the sea and we have to try to gather them all right we have to try to gather them so we have to be out there in the open think about if we in the luxury of our homes how much of those flying fish we go we we we, we, uh, we would catch how much all right how much we wouldn't catch we wouldn't catch many all right we wouldn't catch many of those all right this is the book of james chapter one and verse one it says james the servant of yahweh and of the lord yahweh shy to the 12 tribes that are scattered abroad so they scattered all right the elect scattered then the scripture said that um the kingdom of heaven is like a man casting his net into the sea that is what the scripture said the kingdom of heaven is like a man casting his net into the sea and you know he bring it fish good and bad and he cast the bad back and keep the good so that is that is who we are we out here the lord said he made us fishers of men you ever seen a fisherman in the luxury of his house catching fish? They're always out by the sea, they're always out by the water. So we here out by the waters fishing for the elect. Because they're scattered abroad. The Lord gathering his people in these last days. Alright? He gathering them. He bringing them together. Alright? It says Isaiah 11 and 11 
and it shall come to pass in that day in what day all right so it shall come to pass in that day in what day in the last days all right how we know the last days because ezekiel chapter 37 said all right they will rise upon their feet a strong army all right with breath in them putting back on the sinews the scripture said in Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 9, he said, Make the heart of these people fat, blind their eyes that they can't see and the ears that they can't hear. And you know what Isaiah asked? Isaiah asked, Lord, how long? And the Lord said, Until the Lord cast men far from their, from their land and they be a great forsaken. All right? Wasn't there a great forsaken? And that is why we know Esau is the son of perdition. Because the scripture said until the son of perdition be revealed. And in these last days the so-called white man being revealed as the wicked and Israel waking up. Israel waking up. Because the, the Lord, he gathering his anointed. He gathering them fishes. All right? He casts his net and he making it ready. All right? He making the marriage chamber ready to bring back the elect home. All right, Ezekiel chapter 11. Um, not Ezekiel, Isaiah chapter 11. 11 it says, I um, it shall come to pass at that day that Yahabah Shemir Shai shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. Of his people, all right. The sixth the scripture said, For Israel is his people, all right. The rod of Jacob is his inheritance. All right. It says, Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, the elect which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Patros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamat and from the islands of the sea. <laughs> islands of the sea. All right. So we scattered all over so that you, Lord, the Lord Yahaba Hashem El Shai, He gathering us. All right, He gathering us. He bringing us home. And that is why we in these last days we rejoicing. We rejoicing because the Lord Yahaba Hashem El Shai, He turning His hands towards us for good. All right, this is um, Baruch chapter four. Um. I will start at I start at verse I start at verse 18 Baruch chapter 4 and verse 18 right it says he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands of your enemies and we are this day in our enemies land alright all the nations they ruling over us the Lord said he that he that he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from your enemies what plagues when you go back to Deuteronomy 28 the Lord brought all these diseases upon us all right he cast us down made us the tail and not the head sent us into captivity he even said that we will worship wood and stone all right he said that we will eat the fire bread among the Gentiles our children shall be sold we'll build houses we build plant vineyards, all these things, all these curses the Lord brought upon us. And that is why in Deuteronomy 30 and 7, the Lord said He gonna take all these curses from us and place them upon the nations. Alright? It says, verse, verse 19, it says, Go your way, O my children, go your way, for I am left desolate. It says, I have put off the crown of peace and put upon me the sackcloth of my prayer. It says, I will cry unto the everlasting in my days. Be of good cheer, O oh my children. Cry unto Yahaba Hashem El Shai. And we cry unto the Lord. Every day we cry unto the Lord so that the Lord will deliver us. All right? But didn't the scripture say in Romans chapter 10, How shall they call upon him whom they have not heard? And that is why we out here, this is the reason we out here is to let you know that the Lord, Yahaba Hashem Yahusha, is your God. Stop calling upon Jesus. Stop calling upon Allah. 
stop calling upon Jehovah and Yahweh and all these false gods. All right? There's a reason we out here pushing this truth so that you can know your true heritage. So that you can know yourself and remember yourselves. All right? Back in slavery, we were forced to cast off our heritage. When we came here, we were speaking Hebrew. A watered down version of it, but we were speaking Hebrew. Kumbaya, Kumbaya. There's a song the, 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 the slaves used to sing. Kumbaya, my lord, Kumbaya. And when you look up the word, the, the, the phrase Kumbaya, it means what? Rise and come. Kwam. Kwam. And ba, ba. You understand? Me, like come kwam um kwam ba ya all right ba ah right this means rise and come that is that is how that is what they used to sing all right they used to sing what um swing low sweet chariot i looked over jordan i looked over jordan and what did i see coming forth to carry me home a band of angels coming after me, coming forth to carry me home. That is what the, 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 the slaves, the so-called Negroes, Israelites, used to sing when they were enslaved by the so-called white man. All right? 300 and some years ago. Because they knew that they were Israelites. But now they put this, this name on us, this stigma upon us, they call us Negroes, they call us African Americans and Africans and all these things. And that was not our original name. That is why the scripture said in the land of the, the captivity they go remember themselves. Hosea 5 and 15. The Lord said, I will go my I will return to my place until they acknowledge themselves. He said, in their affliction, they will remember me early. Alright? In the affliction they will remember me early and that is why in our afflicted state we think about every time something happens to jake the first thing they said is oh god every time something happened to a so-called negro or a latino or so-called native american the first thing that comes out their mouth is oh god all right the lord said in the affliction they will they will seek his face All right, in their affliction, they will seek his face, and we're seeking his face right now. All right, going on, um, verse, verse 20, 20 it says, I have put off the clothing of peace and put upon me the sackcloth of my prayer. I will cry unto the everlasting in my days. Be of good cheer, O my children, cry unto Haba Shemel Shai, and he shall deliver you from the po from the power and hand of the enemies all right and that is where we cry the scripture said he is in the day of the coming of the lord so we cry unto the lord yahweh vashem yahweh shai vashem means in the name all right yahweh in the name of yahweh shai we cry unto the lord to come and deliver us it says for my hope is in the everlasting that he will save you and joy is come unto me from the Holy One because of the mercy which shall, which shall soon come upon you from the everlasting Savior. The mercy that is going to come upon us from the everlasting Savior. Yahweh Shai is going to come. Alright? Yahweh Shai is going to come and deliver us. It's said a second time. The Lord is going to come a second time and gather the remnants of Israel. He's not going to leave us here. All right? He's not going to leave us here to pine away. All right? Paul said it. Had the Lord cast away his people that he foreknew? Said the Lord forbid. Said for David, his servant's sake, he will not turn away his mercies. All right? He will not turn away his mercies. The tender mercies of David, by extension, going to be upon all Israel. Firstly, the elect and all Israel via the elect all right because all israel the, the two-thirds all right because the lord coming to save a third and two-thirds of israel they're gonna come back through what through the seed as the offspring of the elect all right 
It says, verse 23, it says, For I send you out with mourning and weeping, but Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai will give you to me again with joy and everlasting gladness. And one of the reasons why we had a cry unto the Lord, look at the state that we're living in right now. Yes, All right? Look at the condition of the place that we're living in. The whole world don't turn upside down. All right? Now, all of a sudden, they, they, they're pushing this, this colorful agenda where now they're even pushing it on your children. Where this, they're passing laws and legislations where the scriptures said, want to them that decree and righteous decrees. They, they, they're passing decrees that saying that they could pump hormones in their children to basically make a boy act more like a girl and make a girl act more like a boy. And that is against nature. And there's a reason why the Lord Yahaba Hashem Yahashai destroyed Solomon Gomorrah for all these sorts of unrighteousness. Now, I, I, I was actually watching a video one time where a pastor, he was justifying, I believe he was a pastor, he was justifying that the Lord didn't destroy Solomon Gomorrah for homosexuality. All right? That is what he was saying. The Lord didn't destroy Solomon Gomorrah for, um, for homosexuality. It was basically other sins. But what was the first thing the men of Sodom wanted to do when the angels, when they came to, um, to Lot's house? They wanted to have sex with the angels. All right? They wanted to have sex with the angels. So there's no way to get around Solomon go um, the destruction of Solomon Gomorrah. The Lord Yahaba Shimei Shah is gonna destroy that is why the Lord called this place spiritual Solomon Gomorrah. Alright? Jude, Jude 1 and 7. The Lord gonna destroy America be because of it. The mother of harlots. Think about it. The mother of harlots. So the Lord gonna destroy the mother and punish the children. Alright? Because a lot of these lands gonna get touched by nuclear missiles. Alright? That is, that, is the, that, is the, that is the second death pursuing to, to Second Peter chapter 3 verse 8 coming down. The Lord is going to bring fire upon this earth by means of thermonuclear destruction and that is the second death. You church people like to see the lake of fire that burning everlasting. That, that, that lake of fire is America being destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. The reason why John called it a lake of fire is because he was he was he had a high vantage point. So he was out there in the firmament looking down. He was out there in the firmament looking down, seeing America being destroyed. And when you have a top view of nuclear missiles going off simultaneously, when the waves, when they spread, it will, it will literally look like a lake. Alright, that is the best way John could have explained it. Because John wouldn't have known what were nuclear missiles back then. He wouldn't have known. And this is the reason the Lord sent us out here. We couldn't come out here on our own. The Lord had to first put his Holy Spirit upon us. As the scripture says, by laying of hands of the presbytery, which is the elders, the apostles. All right, because they taught the word. All right. As, as they were also taught, they taught the word. And we learned this word, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 2. They committed it unto faithful men that will be able to teach others also. That is the reason why we're out here prophesying this word. To teach you about the times that we're in, about the times that we're coming into. We're coming into some, some evil times. We're coming into some times where great wrath is going to come upon this place. And the Lord sent us out here for your good. Alright? Because the Lord had loved his people. The Lord sent his prophets out here beat times to warn you. Before the destruction comes. Before the destruction comes. The Lord sent us out here to give you warning. He said, amend your ways. Repent. Alright? And turn to your harbash. Matter of fact, return to your harbash. Because this truth is only for the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. Which are you, 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 which, which are the true Israelites? You are the true chosen people of the Most High, and you don't know it. A lot of you don't know it. And 
despite a lot of you don't know it the ones that hear it some of you don't believe it some of you don't believe that you are the people of the most high you're okay with being called niggers and calling yourself niggers now the new thing is calling yourself fully dunce I remember the days growing up, you don't want nobody to call you dunce. Now all of a sudden, these lack of ambition, waste of sperms, calling themselves fully dunce. That is why I said menstruous women shall bring forth monsters, because that is where you women are. That is where you, the, 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 um, you, you people, you children are. Monsters. Alright? But the Lord giving you the chance of the hope of salvation. That is what he's doing, giving you the chance of the hope of salvation to return, to be delivered, to be saved from the wrath to come. What the scripture said, I believe is in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 10, it says what? It says that you will be delivered from the wrath to come. The Lord trying to deliver us from the wrath to come. All right? Going back to Baruch, it says, um, verse 24, Baruch chapter 4, verse 24, it says, Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation from Yahweh. All right? They're going to see a salvation. How are they going to see a salvation? Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5. The scripture said, The righteous man shall stand. In boldness before all the face of them that you know that made no account of his labor. They're gonna see the righteous going up. They're gonna bear witness to that. They're gonna look up and see chariots, so-called UFOs, coming. Swing low sweet chariot. They're gonna see those chariots coming to deliver the, the elect, the Lord's anointed. Alright? Are we hoping to be part of that number? Or when the saints come marching in? When the saints come marching in, we all hoping to be part of that number. But the Lord said, they have the zeal, but not according to knowledge. They have the zeal, but not according to knowledge. Because they believe in the Bible. They believe there is one God and one Lord, but not according to knowledge. Alright? Because as the scripture says in 2 Corinthians 3, I believe it's verse 10. It says the same veil is not taken away unto this day. All right? It says, like as now as the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation from our God, which shall come upon you with great glory. And that's going to be a great day, a grand day, a magnificent day. All right? Just like they showed you in... Um, Independence Day when the chariot covered the whole sky as the scripture said in um let me read that real quick this is the book of Isaiah Isaiah chapter 66 verse So that verse 14, Isaiah 66 and verse 14. It says, when you see this, your heart shall rejoice. So when we see chariots, our heart is going to rejoice. And your bones shall flourish like an herb. And the hand of your Haba Shemel Shai shall be known towards his servants, the elect, and his indignation towards his enemies. All right? His indignation gonna be known towards his enemies and his hand gonna be known towards his chosen the elect. Alright? How? You're gonna see that light, that tractor beam coming down to take the elect up. And you're gonna see the, the red beam, them lasers coming down to, to burn, to crisp the wicked. Alright, the scripture said the dearly Lord shall come and burn them up. Alright, going back to Baruch. It says. Um, verse 25 my children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from your hour for thy enemy had persecuted thee 
but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck my delicate ones have gone through rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught in um, of the enemies be of good comfort O my children and cry unto Yahweh. cry just cry cry for your Lord to save you all right don't cease to cry unto Yahweh Shai for salvation all right in Isaiah it says what you that make mention of the Lord keep not silence and give him no rest give him no rest till he rise and make Jerusalem a praise again in the earth all right it says uh, my delicate ones have gone through rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught in, um, of the enemies be of good comfort O my children and crown to Yahweh for ye shall come and um, Salak, for ye shall be remembered of him and brought that um, that brought these things upon you for as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, so being returned, seek him ten times more. So yes, to seek him ten times more. Push this word, push this truth, and don't ever stop, don't ever cease. Alright? It says, For he that brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation. Because that is why we enter into the marriage chamber. Why well, think Yahweh Shai? What did Yahweh Shai? What did um what did Yahweh Shai say? Let's bear my sucker. What did Yahweh Shai say when Alright When um the Pharisees When the Pharisees asked him why your um your disciples don't fast all right what was your house shy's response shall the children mourn when they are in the when they are um, in the marriage chamber with the bridegroom roughly paraphrasing all right This is um, Genesis chapter 29 and verse 20 says, And Jacob served seven years for Rachel, and they, and they seemed but a few days, if but a few days for the love he had for her. And Jacob said to Laban, Give me my wife, for my days are fulfilled, that I may go in unto her. And Laban gathered together all the men that were in the place and made a feast. Alright? He made a feast. Alright? So he made a feast they made a feast and they were celebrating because why because the daughter was getting married our marriage was happening a union was happening so they celebrated all right they celebrated so in the marriage chamber in the marriage chamber with your house shy we're gonna be you know we're gonna be you know rejoicing with the Lord Yahaba Shemi Shai. This is Revelation chapter 17, verse 7, uh, verse 19, verse 7. It says, Let us be glad and rejoice. That is what it started to say. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor unto him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife had made herself ready. Alright? So it says, The marriage of the Lamb was come. Let us be glad and rejoice. So in the marriage chamber, it ain't gonna have, it ain't gonna have no weeping and sighing. All right, it's gonna be a time for joy. It's gonna be a joyful time. All right, it's gonna be a joyful time, and that is why Baruch said, going back to Baruch chapter four, it says verse twenty nine, it says, "For he that brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy, again with your salvation." So it's gonna be a joyous time for us. We're gonna be so happy, guess what? Some of us are gonna cry. Alright? It said, Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall. 
miserable are the cities which um, thy children served miserable is she that received thy sons yeah so these nations can be miserable all right that's why the lord said his name is dreadful about the hidden that's why the lord said his name is dreadful among the hidden because why because they helped further the affliction they benefited off of our backs all right and they have forward our affliction they have prolonged our affliction all right psalms 83 psalms 83 they took crafty counsel against the lord chosen against the lord anointed against the lord hidden ones to cut us off from being our people so they took that crafty counsel all right so the lord gonna bring judgment on them for what they did unto us Lord gonna bring that judgment onto them and they're gonna go into captivity all these nations that served us the scripture says Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 1 it says we unto thee that they treacherous and they dealt not treacherous with thee and they dealt not treacherous with thee when thou see to thee treacherous they shall be treacherous with thee all right also in Isaiah chapter 14 all right we're gonna rule over our oppressors we're gonna rule over our oppressors. So they're going into slavery. Revelation chapter 2, verse 25. Alright? This is um Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 16. It says, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries. This is what the Lord said. All thy adversaries. Every one of them shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all they that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So the Lord say all the enemies, all our enemies, they're going down. The Lord gonna cast them down. The Lord casting down all our enemies, the Lord gonna bring them into captivity. That is why they're gonna be miserable. They're gonna go like a thousand years of captivity, and after that thousand years so-called white man he's gonna be gathered and burnt up the scripture said after many days he shall be visited all right um verse 33 it says for as she rejoice at thy ruin and was glad i fall so shall she be grieved for her own desolation for i will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude and that is why it says in Revelation 18, the merchants, they sort of far off and they were crying because they saw America destroyed. That is the beginning of their downfall. That is why the scripture said, Rejoice not thou whole Palestina, because the rod of him that smote thee is, is, is destroyed. Out of the serpent's root shall come forth a cockatrice. Alright? It says, verse 34, it says, for I will take away the rejoicing from a great multitude, and her pride, um, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting. And that is when you go to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12. When you go in Wisdom of Solomon, chapter no Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12, my bad. Second Ezra chapter 12. Second Ezra chapter 12. It says, um, I'm gonna read it real quick. It says 2nd Ezra chapter 12 verse 1 it says and it came to pass whilst the lion spake these words unto the eagle I saw and behold the head that remained of the four wings appeared no more and the two went unto it and set themselves up and rain um, Preaching the word at the most side. Alright. Yes, I was just reading it. Now you can read not, nothing wrong with the reading. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a small priority. Alright. Yeah, they do a listen now. Alright, um. 
just bared my second. It wasn't Wisdom of Solomon 12. I wasn't um, second as just 12. Um, boom, boom, boom. Just now, let's bear me one second. Park and Charlotte from here. Um, but Park and Charlotte is that direction. Along this? Well, yeah, if you follow. So yeah, this basically. Just leave this here, leave this straight on Park Street. So if you continue, but I mean, I don't feel there's a taxi along here, though. But here, it's a way. Well, here, you need more to Digger Martin and St. James' side. Digger Martin and St. James' side. Yeah, Park and Charlotte is that direction. Yeah. So common sense says to the right head that direction. I mean, it depends on how fast you're, you're walking. Going straight on this highway, which is. Leading it to, to Park Street. Park Street? Yeah. And then I need to turn here to go to Charlotte. Well, you were city signs. The city signs is about. It's about an hour walk. As I said, I don't even might get a taxi around here. I can not see a taxi. Yeah. Can like I said, it? yeah. Taxi. No problem. Alright, so I'm not finding it, but basically, basically was talking about um, with the eagle, you know, and the wings basically you know basically being destroyed. Alright? Um All right. Yeah, so guess what they're going to... But basically, that is what's going to happen with the nations. All right? Mainly Esau, all right, which is what? Is, which is that Roman Empire coming back in these last days. All right? Revelation chapter 12. Going on to Revelation chapter 13. All right? That beast that was wounded. All right? That was the ancient... You know pagan roman empire you know i don't understand why they, why they say the pagan roman empire because even when jake was ruling jake was jake was was doing shit you know same way all right from constantine all around that time they were still they were still worshiping you know false god constantine is the is the is the main reason we have so many where what doctrines been taught in these last days, Christmas and Easter and all these things. All right, that was because of Constantine bringing all these other doctrines into the so-called Catholic faith and you know, the scriptures. Well, not scriptures, but they call the, the Roman Catholic Church the mother of harlots, the mother of all churches. All right, calling the mother of, ch of churches. So from there, all these other denominations came from. All right, we're back to Baruch. It says, um, verse 35, it says, For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure, and she shall be um, in, she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. O Jerusalem, look about thee towards the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from your hour. Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. They come gathered together. So this is, the, this, this is the point I wanted to get to. All right? They come gathered together. Because we come gathering. The Lord gathering us. But how? All right? From the east to the west, by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of Yahweh. So we come in here. 
you know, gathering by the word. The word is what gathering us. And that is why we come out here, we don't ever speak our own words. Right? We do ever speak our own words. We speak, thus say the Lord. Isaiah 8 and 20 says, If they speak now according to this word, all right? If they don't speak according to this word, if they don't speak, thus say the Lord. But the scripture said, I put my words in thy mouth. Eat this whole road. If they don't speak according to this word, because there is no um, light in them. And this word is light. This word is truth. All right? What did, what did, what did um, James said? James said unto the twelve tribes scattered abroad. So you have to gather them with the word. In the name of Yahaba Hashem El Shai. Not in the name of Moses and Christ. Alright? Because Moses and Christ not gathering anything. Matter of fact, Moses and Christ was the reason our people scattering so far. Alright? These false gods is the reason why we've been scattered in the first place. Alright? This is Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 1. He says, At the same time, said Yahabah Shemel Shai, will I be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. The Lord showing again that he for Israel. Alright? He said Israel is his people. Alright? Verse 2. It says, Thus said Yahabah Shemel Shai, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, even Israel, when I caused him to rest, says, Yahabah Shemir shall have appeared in all unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with everlasting love, therefore with loving kindness have I drawn thee. That is why in John 3 16, the favorite scripture of these churches says, For God so loved the world. And that world is talking about Israel, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That is the world the Lord loved. The scripture said, world without end. Israel shall not know nor ever be confounded world without end. Alright? That is the world that is the world that Yahaba Hashem Shai love. That is the world that the Lord sent his son Yahweh Shai to die for. Alright? This is the book of Matthew Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21 it says and he shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai for he shall save his people alright his people from their sins his people now they will say well they know that that, that, that don't mean there's only you know black citizens and native americans that could mean you know anybody that that conform to this word a spiritual Israelite nah it ain't nothing about <clears throat> no spiritual Israelite it's about the seed of Israel I think it's Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 25 or Isaiah 42 and verse 24 somewhere around there it says in the Lord shall the seed of Jacob um, be glorified roughly paraphrasing the seed of Israel is always about the seed that is why he said of this man's seed had the Lord raised up a savior unto Israel This is John 11 and verse 49. And one of them named Caiaphas, being the high priest that same year, said unto them, Ye know nothing at all. Alright? Nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people. The people, not peoples, for the people. And then I say, well, that pe people just it means everyone. Alright? It says that the whole nation, that the whole nation, not nations, perish not. And this he speak, he not um, of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Yahushai should die for that nation. We did English. That nation, not nations. All right? Nor of that nation only, but that also he should gather together in one, the children of Yahweh, 
that was scattered abroad. All right? The children of Yahweh that was scattered abroad. Who was scattered Israel? The scripture said, This is the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse um, 51. Not Jeremiah 51, Jeremiah 50 and verse 6. It says, My people had been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have no, um, they have forgotten their resting place. All right? And they went, we went from, from captivity to captivity. We forgot the Lord, Yahaba Shemiah Shai. You understand? We forgot the Lord, Yahaba Shemiah Shai. All right? Um, this is um, Jeremiah 50 and verse 17 it says Israel is a scattered sheep alright Israel is a scattered sheep the lions have driven him away alright and that is why he said what we went from captivity to captivity, we went from mountain to hill, worshiping other gods. We forgot our resting place. We forgot Yahweh, as the scripture said in um, Jeremiah. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, Jeremiah 15, verse 7. It says, All that found them devoured them, and their adversaries were off um, said, We offend not because they have sinned against Yahweh. The habitation of justice even Yahweh so you know we forgot the habitation of justice we forgot our resting place which is with Yahweh Shai. we forgot our land with the scripture said in um, Psalms 147 if I forget the O Jerusalem let my hand forget my cunning all right we forgot our resting place all right Jeremiah 15 and 17 Israel had been Israel is a scattered sheep the lions have driven him away. First, the king of Assyria, Shamanesa V, all right, um, had devoured him. And last, this Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had broken his bones, all right? Because Shamanesa V, I believe it's in 7, 722 BC, all right? Shamanesa V came in and took the northern tribes away. He took the northern tribes away and then he came back and tried for Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And the Lord told him, Ah, uh ah, -uh. nah. He said he will have mercy upon, 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 um, upon Jacob, all right, upon Jerusalem. But then Israel, they didn't turn from their wickedness. Uh, Jerusalem didn't turn from their wickedness, or right? Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. So what the Lord did, the Lord sent Nebuchadnezzar after them and he took them away. And the land was forsaken of our children. All right, even more so in the time of of the um, of Antiochus. All right, we were scattered through, and we were we were forced to forget our ways. And that was a great time for us. All right, that was a great time for us. A lot of our people they they, they stopped calling themselves Israel, and that is where the birth of of the Gentiles began for our people that is where the birth of the Gentiles began for us as a, as a nation during the time of Antiochus Epiphanes or the Greeks alright because we were forced to forget our, our, our we were forced to not circumcise our children forced to, to worship other gods um, even in the time of the Inquisition in the 1500s in, in Spain, all right, we were forced to not keep our, our, our customs. 
it had it had something that, you, that that they called us back then they call us um i believe was crypto jews or crypto israelites because what we used to have to do we used to have to hide to keep our customs because if we were found to keep our customs we would have been burnt we would have been put to death all right people were put to death for as simple as you know circumcising the children or keeping the sabbath and this was all ordered by the roman catholic church all right this was ordered by the roman catholic church so we we were persecuted as a people from long time and and this time coming we're gonna be persecuted again for for this word all right we're gonna be persecuted for this word all right that's why the lord says try for the truth unto death because in these last days they're gonna the scripture says a troop a troop shall rise upon us the overflowing scourge but the lord said is the time of jacob's trouble but he shall be delivered from it as long as we hold fast to this word the lord yahaba shemia shai gonna deliver us from this from the destruction that come in as long as we hold fast we can't give up all right this is the book of acts chapter 11 and verse 19 it says now they which were scattered abroad and it's still always talking about the scattering all right in daniel they talk about israel at his near and at his far off because we were scattered i just went through a brief history how israel was scattered we were scattered throughout all these nations um numbers numbers 24 5 to 7 i believe it talks about his 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 seed shall be in um in many nations and also the lord told moab to be a shelter for his people because we were scattered throughout the so-called japanese so-called chinese scattered in um in, in um let me read this real quick this is the book of Micah chapter 4 and verse 10 says being pain and labor to bring forth O daughter of Zion like a woman in travail for now thou shalt go forth out of the city and thou is Jerusalem and thou shalt dwell in the field you understand and we was dwelling in this field the field was Africa the northern coast of from the northern western central and the eastern coast of Africa all right and thou shalt go even to Babylon because we was there, we was there in, in um in Africa for roughly let me say what twelve hundred years. All right, we was in Africa for about twelve hundred years, twelve hundred plus years, because slavery really started around sixteen the sixteen hundreds. You understand? So we was there, we was there for a good while. All right, it says the um. Thou shalt go even to Babylon, there shall thou be delivered. And we wasn't delivered from Babylon, ancient Babylon. This is to prove that this scripture is talking about ancient Babylon. Talk about a modern Babylon, which America, the great US of A, is that modern Babylon. Babylon, which means confusion. And we see the confusion that happening right now. Alright? In the um, in ancient Babylon. I can't remember the word what I want to use, but um, it was like a great melting pot. It had a, a, a whole set of different nations, just like in, in the Tower of Babel, a whole top, a, a whole set of different nations dwelling together in one nation. All right, that is why Haman came to to um to um oh gosh the king. And what he told them, he told them that the Jews they have laws that you know that different from all the other nations because it had different nations. Daniel, they 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 wanted to kill Daniel because Daniel wouldn't bow down and worship the idol. But all he all the, the a decree was passed 
that all the 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 the, um, the other nations should worship their gods for a whole month. And Daniel, what he did, he went by the window and prayed. All right, he went by the window and prayed so that all could see that he worshiping Yahweh Shimei and Shai. So it had a host of nations under the Babylonians, even under the Persians and the Greeks together. So that is why the Lord called them modern the Babylon. So he says, There shall thou be delivered. Alright? There shall Yahabah Shemiah Shai redeem thee from the hand of our enemies. Alright? The Lord gonna deliver us from Babylon from our enemies. And we are in our enemies' land right now. Going back to Acts 11. Acts 11. And um verse 19 it says now they which was scattered abroad upon the persecution that I recall we was persecuted all right for keeping this word Stephan traveled as far as Phineas and Cyprus and Antioch preaching the word to none but unto the Jews only all right and in the whole months in the whole months Bible Atlas I forget what page, I think it's page 145. It shows on, on both on both pages, you know, when, when they open you know the book, it shows it shows all the places where Paul preached throughout Anatolia. Alright? It shows well Anatolia Asia Minor and, and Anatolia is the same place, right? So they showed in Anatolia where Paul preached, all the places where Paul preached and they put orange dots in all those places and the the um the, the wording with it for, for those orange dots is where Israel was scattered, Israel dwelt so Paul didn't just go on to random people he went on to the Israelites that were scattered throughout all these lands he went on to the Israelites that were scattered. And that is why we're going on to Israel that's scattered in these last days. Alright? We're not going on to no other nation. Alright? We're not going on to no other nation. This is Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse... Um, Ezekiel chapter 36 I start at verse verse 8 but ye O mountains of Israel shall shoot forth your branches and shall yield your fruit to my people of Israel for they are at hand to come all right they are at hand to come because the time of all the scripture says it is it is high time to awake out of sleep because now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Our salvation is nearer than we believe. It is right around the corner. All right, we're hoping that this year could be the year. All right, it could be this year, it could be next year, but we, it could be, you know, 2025. We don't know. But we're hoping that it's soon. The scripture said, hasten the coming of the Lord. We hasten in that day. It says, for the at hand to come, for I am for you, the Lord is for us. For I am for you. And I will um, turn unto you, and ye shall be tilled and sown, and I will multiply men upon you, and all the house of Israel, even all of it, and the cities shall be inhabited, and the ways shall be built, and I will multiply upon you man and beast, and they shall increase and bring fruit, and I will settle you after your all estates, and ye will do better. Um, and will do better unto you than your beginnings and ye shall know that I am your hour alright you're all going to do better than us the scripture says for your shame you shall have double also in Joel chapter I believe it's chapter 1 and verse 23 it says what he will um, give you the form and the latter rain at once alright he says, Yeah, I will cause men to walk upon you, even my people Israel. For the scripture says, You know, the unclean shall not enter therein. 
what did um what did what did the rich man see so a great golf fix between him and Lazarus indicating even um Balaam Balaam said I shall see him but not now I shall behold him but not near because he saw him from afar off all right in the holy city they're not gonna be able to come near to the holy city to defile it all right matter of fact think about a city of gold with a chariot over because the scripture said the city shall have no need for the sun and the moon all right because the lord the harbor and shimmer shall be the light in it now that is wisdom knowledge and understanding but also the lord gonna have his chariot there all right so think about they they're trying to look at a city of gold right with a light over it they can't look at all that brightness they can't look at they don't have the eyes the spiritual eyes to behold all that brightness so they had to hold their head down all right it says and i will cause men to walk upon you even my people israel and they shall possess thee and thou shalt be their inheritance because we can inherit the land and we also gonna inherit the nations all right and thou shalt no more And thou shalt no more um, henceforth bereave them of men. Alright? We ain't gonna go into captivity no more. This is um Second Samuel. Second Samuel chapter seven and verse ten. It says, Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel, and I will plant them, and they shall dwell in a place of their own. We're not gonna be scattered anymore because the Lord gathering us. Alright? That they may dwell in a place of their own and no and and move no more neither shall their shall the children of wickedness afflict them anymore as before time so the children of wickedness the children of wickedness not gonna afflict us anymore and the lord yahabah shemir shahi not gonna cast us out anymore why because the scripture said the lord gonna put his laws in our inward parts so it's gonna be impossible for us to sin. He's gonna give us a flesh, take away this, this wicked flesh from us and give us a flesh where it just like this flesh prone to sin, that flesh is gonna be prone to do righteousness. Alright? Then the scripture said the, the spirit and the flesh war it against one another. The, flesh, the spirit and the flesh white against each other so it's like you know if you watch um the first we call it venom all right in the first venom basically yeah good night good night good night in the first venom the symbiotes if they don't match with the host they will actually reject the host and the host will die so therefore the lord put our spirits in our body that not really fully compatible with the spirit it working for the time being but this body have defects all right it, it could get sick it could die in sin yeah brother it, it could sin all right so the lord gonna give us a body that perfect that not prone to diseases that not that it ain't gonna die the scripture says and i'll read that real quick but the lord gonna give us a body that we're not gonna be able to sin all right it's gonna be impossible to go off all right let me just read this quick it's nahum 1 and 9 it says what do you imagine against yahweh he will make an utter end so these nations they imagine against the lord that they will keep his people afflicted and they will keep building their empire they go on to their agenda 20 20 21 all right build their new world order all right the nobles order suclorum 
and they will they will rise up they will build their elysium and they have next all right there is where they're thinking that is what the lord said what do you imagine against me all right he shall make an utter end that is why he said in jeremiah chapter 51 all right do they build up i will cast down all right so they shall know shall not take a stone for for um for a corner and in believers in obediah all right said they shall do they, do they build up i will cast down and they shall call the return of wicked the borders of wickedness all right nehum 109 what do you imagine against me and what do you imagine against yahweh he will make an utter end affliction shall not rise up a second time affliction not gonna rise up a second time because revelation chapter 12 and verse i believe it's verse 12 it says it talks about the accuser of our brethren that accuse us before the lord day and night so they know how to that is why in jeremiah chapter 50 it says um we have not offended because they are forsaken the holy one because they know once we sin once we keep sinning the lord yahaba shemel shai he will turn away from us so that is where they're hoping they, they keep putting pork in our food they keep messing with our clothes they, 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 they're doing all sorts of things you know pushing you know their rainbow beliefs on on the children on, on in society you know they 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 turn the world upside down all right and they they forcing jake to partake in these things believing that believing that the lord yahaba shemi al shai you know that as long as we keep sinning the lord wouldn't have no dealings with us all right that is what they, that is what they think all right that is what they're hoping for but they're not knowing that the lord will have mercy upon jacob and will yet choose israel this is jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 20. it says in those days and in that time said Yahabah Shemel Shai, the iniquity of Israel shall be sought for, and there shall be none, and the sins of Judah, and they shall not be found, for I will pardon them whom I reserve. The Lord said He's gonna pardon them whom He reserve. He's gonna pardon the tribes of Israel. He's gonna wash away all their iniquities. And how? By Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai died for the sins of the elect. To wash away all their iniquity so you think you think that because you know you put all these things in our food out guess what the lord the lord don't have no dealings with the tutors so you could do that with the tutors all right because the tutors they're made to be destroyed anyways but the elect it's not gonna happen so the lord gonna come and deliver the elect tutors of our people they're gonna be destroyed jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 25 said the lord and come and judge the circumcision with the uncircumcision he said judah and edom and all these nations all right so the two-thirds of our people and you nations are gonna be the shooting term of nuclear destruction all right you really think that the lord care about all israel the lord don't care about all israel right now all right the lord only care about the elect that remnant all right jeremiah 51 and 5 it says for israel had not been forsaken nor Judah of his God. They forsaken. Alright? So the Lord had a trump card. And Yahweh Shai was that trump card. The one you ignorantly called Jesus was that trump card. That he sent his son to die for our sins. Alright? To redeem us. To buy us back. Alright? As a people. Alright? That is what the Lord did. The Lord brought us back. Alright? The Lord brought us back. All right and they, they didn't they didn't expect the spirit the spiritual side of of, of of this truth but the spiritual side is that hey the lord though he cast us off though he cast us off he gonna bring us back all right um
Ah, Jeremiah 31 and 10. It says, Hear the word of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, O ye nations, and declare it in the isles afar off, and say, He that scattered Israel will gather him. It was already prophesied. The scripture said, He that um, scattered Israel will gather him. All right? Will gather him and keep him as a shepherd that is flock. For Yahweh Shimei Shai had redeemed Jacob and ransomed him from the hand that was stronger than him. All right? So the Lord coming to bring us back. That is why he said in a second time. That is why he said, Lo, I will command and sift all the house of Israel from among all the nations. The Lord coming to gather us. The Lord coming to bring us back as a people. All right? And how the scripture said by from the east to the west by the words of the Mosai. All right? And we have to give them warning. Ezekiel chapter 3 and 17 because not because not because you know it, it all goes back to faith the scripture says do we then make void the faith through um do we then make void the law through faith no we establish the law all right and the scripture also says in corruption make it us near to the most high and in corruption is this keeping the, the, the commandments as to the best of your abilities all right why believing in the son Yahweh Shai all right why believe in his son yahweh shai all right um it says had israel been israel had not been forsaken nor jacob of his god for yahweh shimei shai of hosts it says though their land was full of full with sin against the holy one of israel so though the land was full with sin, the Lord not going to forsake us. That is why he sent his son to make the ultimate sacrifice of shedding his blood for the elect. Alright? And that is why we are giving you warning. Because if we don't give you warning, then you people will be destroyed. You have to repent. Alright? You have to repent and turn back to the Lord. We will now tear these prophecies to you. Alright? That we are in a time of great destruction, great calamity. The scriptures talk about Jacob's trouble, martial law. World War III, the MOTB, all right, this digital system, all leading to the MOTB, all right, which is the mark of the beast, all right, which is the mark of the beast, all right. We have it down here in Trinidad as what, Section 34, the Electronic Monitoring Bill, and they're going to push it on our people soon, all right. So the reason we're out here giving you warning is to let you know that because a lot of our people, they know not to take the mark of the beast, right? They know not to take the mark of the beast. But they don't know what the mark of the beast is. They don't know what the mark of the beast is. So that is why we're out here to let you know what the mark of the beast is. The mark of the beast is the, the C-hip. The RFID C-hip. Where they're going to push. And that's going to be the new monetary system. And as the scripture says in Revelation 13 and 16, if you don't receive that mark, you're not going to be able to buy and sell. So now if you're able not to buy and sell, then that means you're not going to be able to work. That means you're not going to be able to eat. That means you're not going to be able to drink. That means you're not going to be able to tend to your family's needs. So what are you going to do? That is where it all boils down to faith in your harbor, Shimei or Shai. He will deliver you. That is why he said, my servant shall eat, but you shall be hungry. But if you're not serving the Lord, you have a he ain't going to have your back. All right? He ain't going to have your back. This is... um. the book of Psalms Psalms chapter 37 and verse so that verse 23 it says the steps of a good man are ordered by Yahabah Shemel all right the Lord gonna lead you in the paths where you should go all right it says and he delighted in his ways though he fall he shall not be utterly cast down. He shall not be utterly cast down. For Yahabah Shemel shall uphold him with his hand. I have seen, I have, I have been young 
and now I'm old and have not seen the righteous forsaken nor the, his seed begging bread. So in second Ezra also he said the Lord's hand shall cover thee that thy children shall not see hell. So the Lord Yahaba Shemi Al Shai, alright, he 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 gonna cover you, he gonna be there for you. Alright? As long as you hold faithful to this word, the Lord gonna have your back. Look at when Israel went in the wilderness. Forty years they were in the wilderness and they ate and they drank and they were clothed. The Lord said, even your shoes didn't go all on your foot. Alright? And in, in, in when you go in history, it was customary when Israel going on a journey. It was customary when Israel going on a long journey, they would walk, or even ancient people, they would walk with two sandals or slippers, however you want to put it, they would walk with two because, you know, one most likely would burst along the way. But this didn't happen to Israel in the wilderness. This didn't happen to them. Alright? Because the Lord upholded them. They got food from the heavens. They didn't know where they were gotten food from. So now in these last days, if you know the Lord did all these things, and I will keep saying it, the Lord made them cross to the Red Sea, the Lord fed Daniel, the Lord actually took Habakkuk from Jerusalem and took him to Babylon to feed Daniel in the lands then. The Lord sent ravens to feed um, Elijah. So just remember that. How much more the Lord will deliver his anointed in these last days. Alright? Second Ezra chapter 2 and verse 27 it says be not weary for when the days of trouble and heaviness cometh others shall weep and be sorrowful but thou shalt be merry and have abundance all right so don't worry the Lord have your back it says the heathen shall envy thee but they shall not be able to do but they shall be able to do nothing against thee said the Lord Yahabah Hashem it says my hand shall cover thee so that thy children shall not um shall not see help all right they're not gonna see hell all right they ain't gonna see hell because the lord yahaba shemir shai gonna deliver us the lord have your back then the lord said though these three men were in it they shall be delivered for their righteousness sake this is um second ezra chapter 16 and verse So that verse 74. Hear, O ye, my beloved, said Yahaba Shemia Shai, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide. So don't be afraid, nor doubt. Don't say, Where well, 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 fool gonna come from? I want not. Nah, just, just wait. Deuteronomy 8 and 3. The Lord said, He suffered you to hunger. That you shall know that a man doth not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. Why well, think Yahweh Shai sent his disciples out without any change of clothes, any money, anything? Because he knew that they would be taken care of. Alright? It says, Be not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh Hashem Shai is your guide, and the guide of them who keep it my commandments and precepts, said the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities puff out themselves. So he's a guide of them that keep his commandments. So, that is why I said that we have to keep the commandments. Though it's about faith, we have to still keep the commandments. 
because the commandment says we're going to keep us clean. In the scripture said that we're under schoolmasters. We're under schoolmasters. Lord, Yahaba, Hashem, Yahashai, He's going to deliver us. But to deliver him, but to, 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 to deliver us, pursuing to first John, I believe is 228. Let read it real quick. Is the book of First John? First John chapter 2 and verse 28. It says, And now little children abide in him, stay in him, stay in this truth. Alright? Believing in, in this word, in the name Yahaba Shmiao Shai. Abide in him that when he shall appear ye may have confidence you may have confidence and that is what you want to have confidence knowing that you've done everything that you were supposed to knowing that you kept the faith Paul said it Paul said I have kept the faith I fought a good fight I have kept the faith now is there a crown laid up in heaven for me how did Paul know he had a crown laid up in heaven for him because he knows once he hold fast to this word it, 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 it says promised alright it says that when he shall appear, he may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his, at his coming. All right? And the Lord said to, to be blameless, that appear before the Lord blameless. All right? Once you're doing your best to appear before the Lord blameless, Hebrews 6 and 10, it says, The Lord is not unfaithful to forget the labor of love that you showed towards his name and do minister. All right? So you have to, you have to hold on to this word. Hold on to this word and believe in the prophecies because we're almost out of here. And keep looking, keep an eye out so that you won't be caught with your pants down. Alright? So with that, we give our praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kakodash. We give double honors to the apostles of great mercy and do rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole plan, saints say elect. And say, Mawat la Babal, Mawat la Gawayam, Mawat la Rawamiam. Alright? And you know, until we make it all the, all the, all the, all the, or the all these wicked kingdom and the chariots, all right. I want to say shalom to the elect, all right. Shalom, right. Or praises, you know, to Abashim and Shan, double honors to the apostles that rule well. Shalom. <laughs>